My name is Kelty, a former college athlete, now fitness YouTuber. And what is fitness to me? As an athlete, it's been my identity my whole life. As someone with so much energy, it's the most important thing for my mental health. And for obvious reasons, it's very important to my physical health. But what happens when that's all taken away? Starting when I went to LA, in a week and a half, I did two workouts because I was traveling with Gymshark. I had one 20 to 30 minute Pilates class and one 30 minute body weight class. I came back, had a couple days, I did one spin class, did the F1 video you guys saw, then I was off to Vegas with my friends. Came back from Vegas, wisdom teeth out. <laughs> so before you know it, I realized in three weeks I'd only had about three workouts, which I pretty much usually do in two days. And then I was also faced with about having 10 to 14 days without working out. No workout, no workout, no workout, no workout, no workout. No workout, no workout, no workout. After some intense challenges this summer, I'm talking training like Olympic gymnast, learning to do the splits, training like Olympic swimmer, running, training to climb Mount Everest. I mean, the most biggest, intense, and my fire was lit as an athlete again. I had lost it in COVID and it was back in the last few months. I was just thriving in this. But what happens when that's all taken away? Here's my body post gymnastics series. I really dedicated four months of resistance training, gymnastics I've been doing for a year, and then over the last 30 days of that was doing weights, boot camp classes, altitude training, and handstand training. Day one, after getting wisdom teeth, I'm swollen, it hurts to eat and do anything, so I'm not allowed to work out for a week. I had all four teeth removed and some other work done, like I had another tooth removed bone graft, stuff like that. I figured people are always like, take two weeks off working out, let's document it. I technically haven't worked out because I was in Vegas. So last time I worked out was Thursday, last week, so it's already been a week. I did rage dance in Vegas, if that counts for anything. So it'll end up being three weeks, no working out. I'm allowed to go on walks. Reminder kids, when you're under your parents' uh, health insurance, when you're like 16 to 18, get your wisdom teeth out. Don't wait till you're in your late 20s to start fixing your teeth. Out of pocket, no insurance, not. Mm. Update, it is five days since my wisdom teeth. So I'm about 15 days in to not working out where I'm at right now. So I'm going to show you the difference how my body looks, but kind of with clothes on, <laughs> I probably look the same as you always see me. Diet wise, I've been on a soft food diet. Uh, wisdom teeth, a little, little puffy, but nothing bad. I'm eating less, being very conscious not to purposely lose weight. So still getting enough calories, but I'm not eating as much as I normally do. Before wisdom teeth, my nutrition state is normal. Whatever normal is to me, as honestly it changes every day as I travel and experience many of yummy food adventures. Then after the wisdom teeth, I really tried to make sure I was getting in enough calories. No, I wasn't eating as much as normal because simply my hunger wasn't as high as normal because I wasn't doing my normal training, but I did listen to it. Some days I was actually more hungry because my body was recovering. Won't lie, some days it was tough. Soft food isn't what I'm normally used to, so some days hunger was all over the place. For the most part I just did my best to eat at maintenance. Oh and I only showed you my yummy food porn that was once I was no longer on soft foods and before I was on soft food because did you guys really want to see photos of me having smoothies with excessive amount of protein, coconut oil, peanut butter in it and honey to get calories or just infinity yogurt bowls, infinity cans of soup. Loading all my coffees with cream. This should have been athletic green sponsorship. Did you want to see that? Melissa, did you want to see that? No, go drink some water. Now my weight seems kind of the same it's, as it always is. It's a bit, a bit on the lower side. And let's talk about that and my measurements. I'm not eating as much. I'm also not working as much. My glycogen stores aren't full in my muscles. So you guys probably see there, I look flat. If anything, I might look bigger than I did before even though I weigh a little bit less it's just my muscles aren't full and plump usually I'm working out a lot I have a ton of carbs in me there's just that the pump there's the glycogen in the muscles the water I'm just a bit more flat as bodybuilders would say my measurements are the interesting thing my calves and quads are down the slightest amount which makes sense I'm just not standing or working out or training them as much. Same idea, there's not as much inflammation. So it's not actual loss of muscle or weight right now, it appears. Everything's fitting the same, everything's looking the same. I just think there's a little bit of inflammation that's gone that's kind of naturally I always have. Ooh, my cardio, that's, that's, that's the problem in all this. It's not necessarily my body, I just don't wanna lose progress athletic wise, but it is what it is. Before you know it, 
my identity and what I usually do as a form of self-care wasn't there. Guess what happened when I wasn't focusing on my fitness goals? Life. Am I a little upset that my athletic performance took a step away? Yes, of course. That is something I work on and I have goals that I want to achieve. But do I regret traveling and seeing the world? No. Do I regret having to get my wisdom teeth out? Yes, but also uh, that's sometimes just life. I'm so excited. I get to go back to the gym and it's such a nice feeling, just craving movement. And how I always get back into it after I've kind of broken the habit of the gym is just do stuff that I'm excited. So I booked a spin class and a Barry's boot camp, which I love and that will force me to get there. And this excitement until the habit is built. And then once the habit's built, you no longer have to work off excitement. I used to always be so confused because my life seemed like such a contradiction. I was an athlete or I wasn't. I was chasing goals or I was a failure. But if I'm too goal driven, I'm missing out on life. And I used to hold such a guilt to wanting both. Now I realize life has seasons. Over the summer, I went hard in gymnastics, Olympic training, swimming, altitude training. Then fall got the opportunity to travel again, which I haven't had for so long and that is so vital to my creativity and joy in life. And the reality, life got in the way. During that time, I had amazing adventures with my best friends. I met new best friends and when I couldn't use fitness for my energy outlet, I turned to music. Now, after this time and rest and creativity, craving, intensity in my workouts, I know I'll come back even stronger. And there's this cool thing called muscle memory that if you take some time off, move your body in a gentle way, think dancing walks and fill it with joy and happiness, you'd be so surprised how quickly you're right back to where you went off. So I had different outlets and now the season's changing again. CrossFit, coming for you. See you guys soon, have a great day, go pet a dog, love you, bye. PSA, I think I'm going to label this 15 days not working out. Technically, it was 18. And then if you include the few weeks ahead of it, it I could have labeled it 30, but that was a lie because I worked out a little bit. So I labeled 15. Why? Saying like 18 days no working out? You guys would be like, ugh. ugh. I know, it seems awkward. So I just, I over-delivered. Please forgive me.